urban livelihoods, different types of working conditions. Working for money Why do most of the adults work? To earn money. Some people have their own businesses. Some people work for these business owners. Working for others A person who has a job works for someone else. These people get paid for their work by the owner of the business. The money that people receive for doing a job is called a salary. Working in a job Many people in cities work at different jobs and earn a salary. But there are many different kinds of jobs too. The way people earn money depends on what kind of job they have. Daily wages Some people are employed on daily wages. That means they earn money for each day of work. They don't earn money for the days that they don't work. They don't have a monthly salary. So, if they are working to build a wall and the work is for 45 days, they earn money for those 45 days. If they don't find work for the next one month, they don't earn money. So, they have to keep finding work to make sure they make money. There are many people who work on farms or in factories where work is seasonal. These people find work easily in the work season. It is hard for them to find different kind of work off season. If these people fall sick for a week and don't work, they don't get money for those days. When these people become old and stop earning, they don't get any money either. If they work Monday to Saturday and take a break on Sunday, they get paid for 6 days, not for the whole week. So, they actually earn for each day that they work. This kind of work is also called casual labor. Permanent jobs The other kind of work is the one that is all year long. The work exists all year round. It is not seasonal. That is why it is called permanent work. These jobs are called permanent jobs as they are not seasonal. People working in permanent jobs draw a monthly salary. The work exists all year round. They do not have to go finding work in different places at certain times of the year. These people usually work for 5 or 6 days a week and have 1 or 2 days off each week. As their salary for the whole month is fixed, they do not have to work all 7 days a week. All this is told to them when they join the job. They have some leaves that are allotted to them at the beginning of the year. If they are given 24 leaves in a year, they can remain absent from work for 24 days and still get paid for those days. They don't lose their salary. The job may put aside some money for insurance, medical facilities and old age plans or pensions. A pension means the money that they get when they become old and retire and stop working. Some money is kept aside from their salary each month for this by the owner where they work. So basically employees in these kind of jobs have retirement savings. Some jobs even have medical insurance. That means if the employee falls sick, a part of the bill is paid by the company. In some cases, this benefit is extended to the members of the employee's family as well. Think and discuss. Give two examples of each. A daily wages job a seasonal job, a permanent job. 
what is the basic difference between a seasonal job and a permanent job sushant had high fever and could not go to work how does it affect him if he is a daily wages laborer a peon in an office 